Hello. This is the worst bit in my... <laughs> I went on the YouTube, it looks like I'm sat here staring stupidly, but I'm, I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. Hello, welcome. <laughs> oh, Jasmine, how lovely. <laughs> so nice to see you. Welcome, everybody. Really nice. Oh, do you know, I'm, I do have a trouble with this. I've got this purple thing, and now I've done something weird to it. There we go. There we go. Lovely. So nice to see you. <laughs> so nice to see you. How are you doing, Jasmine? Nadine, so nice to see you. Lynn, oh gosh, I wasn't sure if anyone would be here. It's just lovely to have you here. I know this is a strange old day, isn't it? And I was thinking, oh, I wasn't sure if people... I, I did think, should I perhaps um, cancel because of the Queen's funeral? And then I thought, well, I'll see how it goes. I'll see if anyone's here. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Raquel. So nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Abby, hello. Very nice to see you. <laughs> Dave, nice to have you here. Thank you for following me. How are you all doing? Have you been watching the funeral today? Um, how's it been for you? Ah, oh, Elizabeth, it's so lovely to see you. And Poppy, hello. Welcome. Ellis, welcome. Natasha. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't see your name. I'm, even with the big writing let me have a little look who was that Liv good evening your first time here it's nice to see you Heather <laughs> it's so nice to see you yeah I was thinking I haven't seen you for for a couple um Heather so it's lovely that you're here thank you for joining me um I really appreciate you taking the time um on a day like today it's been such a strange day hasn't it it's been so quiet around where I live. I think everyone has just been just in their houses, just quietly. Angela, welcome. It's nice to see you. <laughs> Emily, oh, do you know, yeah, I, 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 was, I was just saying, I wasn't sure whether to do this live because I sort of arranged to do it. And then I thought, oh, goodness me, it's the, the Queen's funeral. Um, should I do it? Is it disrespectful to be doing a live? Um, and and I, I actually, I, I hopefully it's the right thing to do. Um, so I'm really pleased. Oh gosh, and lots of comments coming through. So, oh, thank you so much, Shay. So nice. Oh, Angela, lovely to have you here. Huh. Let's see, gosh. <laughs> nice to see everyone. Nadine, don't worry about missing my lives. You know, we all have lives, don't we? So it's absolutely fine. I'm just glad to see you here. You know, I think that's the thing, is that I see um, people who, who do come again and again, and I have people who come and it's your first time on a live, and it's always lovely to see you. And, you know, if you can't come any time, then that's okay, because I understand. We, you know, we all have lives to to live don't we and sometimes it's just impossible if we're working I know Jasmine my moderator has been working recently so it's been hard for her so yeah it's just lovely to see you here now for those of you joining let me um, introduce myself I'm Sarah I'm a therapist um, I'm a QCH therapist and QCH is Quest Cognitive Hypnotherapy it's kind of a, a framework really of very practical therapy to, ha to help people it's very tailored to the individual um, it's a talking therapy, but very practical, taking you from where you are to where you'd like to be. Um, it's quite a brief therapy. We don't see people for years and years and years. Um, generally see people for sort of three to six sessions, um, but can see people for longer than that. You know, I see people for, you know, 20 odd sessions. Um, it just really depends on the person and where you are in your life. So, uh and today what I was going to do is um, more sort of practical stuff. Last um, live that I did was, uh, thank you, Lynn. That's so kind of you to send me a rose. Um, the la last one that I did was a, a Q&A. I do lives tend to be every Monday or, or Friday. 
um, and I always put the lives on YouTube afterwards so that if you don't have time to see the whole live then you can go and have a little look on YouTube and you can find that in the link via my profile on TikTok so it's just there my YouTube everything is free please don't feel that you need to subscribe um, you don't need to do anything for me it's an absolute um, joy for me to be on here and to just give everything here for free so uh, if you look through my profile as well there's lots of free resources on there so do go and have a little look at some point um, so yeah and th this is a very safe space um, and it's kept safe because of my lovely um, moderators who've all volunteered to be here and they are just wonderful and I couldn't do it without you so I have Lynn 250 I have Jasmine I have Vicky Hodson, Zan Shin, Vicky Handlebars, and they all come along and I, I can't thank you enough chaps, so thank you. Um, so let me have a little look. Um, let's see. Yeah, so Liv, you watch the funeral with your grandparents. What about everyone else? Have you all watched the funeral today um, or have you not? <laughs> team, sweet team Sarah hello Sam nice to see you <laughs> that's a really nice thing yeah <laughs> yeah what about you what about everyone if, did you watch the funeral did it not matter to you did, it, did you just had it on in the background or if you watched it um oh Vic it's absolutely my pleasure to do what I do thank you for being so lovely um Oh, and you listen to the lives. Lee, Lee Jones, you listen to the lives on YouTube. So it's nice to have you here for actual live live then. Yeah. And Elizabeth, you practice mindfulness and breathing. That helps a lot. So that's really good. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, yeah. And Jasmine, there, there are lots and lots of comments that come through. Um Sandy, I haven't seen your comments. <laughs> I've just seen that one. I do my best to answer questions and to comment, um, but I, I can't answer them all, I'm afraid. I'll just do my best. So, Kezia, how lovely to see you. Nikki, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, I didn't see that, that a tear rolled down King Charles's face. So, oh, Lynn, it's your youngest birthday today. Happy birthday to your youngest. <laughs> Welcome, Saf. That's really nice to see you. So, um, so let's let's get started. Um, this is really today. I was going to do some practical stuff. How how do you feel about that? Would you prefer to have some practical stuff? Would you prefer me to answer questions? Or would you like me to do a bit of both? Um, it's up to you. Um, <laughs> let's thank you for all the likes. It's I, lo I love it. All the little hearts coming up the screen. It's so nice. Um, let's have a look. Practical would be good. Okay, Nikki, brilliant. I shall do some practical stuff then. And perhaps if I do some practical stuff, then that will help if you've got sort of specific things. So, um, so, okay, so let me get started. So the thing with anxiety is that we tend to give anxiety uh, labels. So if you go and see your doctor, um, they'll give you a label. So they might say, oh, you've got generalised anxiety disorder, or you've got social anxiety or health anxiety. Or they might say, oh, you have um, claustrophobia or agoraphobia, which are fears. Um, and so you kind of end up with a label um, and a label really um, is a is a description of what's going on for you but it's not necessarily an explanation and the thing with anxiety is that it's completely normal and natural and it happens to all of us the thing is that sometimes it can start to be triggered more and more often oh, don't know what happened there my light turned off um, anyway I'm sure you can still all see me all right <laughs> I'll carry on carry on regardless like you do um, so um, so it, 
sometimes you know if 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 you're if you've got a driving test coming up for example um then it's normal isn't it to be a bit nervous about it and to have anxiety but if you're just going through your everyday life and you have real anxiety about stuff like so i could see um someone saying here that you know heart anxiety and death anxiety um then that if if your anxiety is really affecting your everyday living then that's a horrible place to be isn't it because what's what's happening there is that our nervous systems are constantly scanning our environment looking for potential threats and either it can find a, something that is genuinely a, a threat so you know if a, a cars rushing towards you or something like that or it may be that it's something that we believe to be a threat a tricky situation like a driving test or um, it can make a match with something that's happened in the past. So perhaps if you have anxiety around death, it may well be that um, you've had experiences in your past that your nervous system has triggered vital flight, you've survived them, and it's your nervous system is now searching for um, potential matches. And if it makes a match, it triggers vital flight again. And vital flight is when you have the release of adrenaline and cortisol um, that um, makes you feel horrendous really. Um, it's that sense of heart beating really quickly, your breathing changes, your muscle tone changes, um, you can feel sick, you can feel lightheaded, you can feel dizzy, you can have um, pins and needles in your extremities, so it can be really horrible. So today what we're going to do is, is um, think about how we can help with those things because there's lots of stuff that you can do just for yourself um, that can reduce the symptoms the physical symptoms because no matter what label you've been given um, this the techniques that I share can help you so um, before I go on let me just say that if you get the little star thing come up talking about subscriptions please do not subscribe to me I don't want you to have to pay anything so it do not subscribe um, this is all free I just don't know how to remove it from my from my page <laughs> if you know how to help please let me know message me so so let's have a look at some practical things because what whatever anxiety we have a really good thing to do is to start um, with self-care um, and I know that a lot of people go self-care I haven't got time for self-care but we all have time for self-care it's about prioritizing even if we have 10 minutes a day that's over an hour a week if we do something for 10 minutes each day self-care oh thank you for us that's very kind of you um, self-care is about doing something that you really look forward to that you love doing and that you can look back on with pleasure and it's that sense of um, releasing hormones which send the message to your nervous system that you're okay that you're safe so um, that's the thing that we're looking for so that's a really good um, um, a really good thing to be thinking about um, so I can see a few comments here about health anxiety um, and health anxiety is is a tricky one because you tend to feel these physical symptoms that I'm talking about because of the release of adrenaline and cortisol, you can feel horrendous um, and then your brain makes an equivalence with I'm feeling horrendous, my heart is beating really quickly and therefore this must mean that there's something really wrong with me and so then you feel really anxious because there's something wrong with you but there's, there's not necessarily. Um, so if you have physical stuff going on, always go and um, have a chat with your with your doctor if you can, um, but get any physical stuff checked out. But once you've got that, you've been told, no, there's nothing physically wrong with you, then the chances are that it is anxiety. So, um, gosh, I can see lots of um, comments coming through. Thank you to everyone who's who's um who's joining us and who's messaging um it's lovely to have you here my apologies if i can't answer every single comment i do try my best 
to to get through giving information and and sort of saying hello and answering questions where I can. Um, so I can see a few here. So um, Betty is saying that you're six weeks pregnant um, and you're feeling anxious, not knowing what to do. Um, let's have a look. There's um, Sandy is saying that you struggle with um, self-esteem. Um, gosh, that's hard, isn't it? And, you know, you saying that you have that sense of people's smirks on people's faces making you feel self self-conscious and that's a horrible feeling isn't it um and that that belief that people are smirking and feeling horrible about about you comes from stuff that's happened in the past you know that that sense i would imagine of judgment and feeling a bit rubbish about yourself so i'm sorry that you're experiencing that and the, and the, the same for you betty um that that feeling of being a little bit out of control with with being pregnant and not really knowing what to do um so self-care is a really now and i know you might be thinking i was self-care how's that going to help me when i'm really anxious and i'm really my self-esteem is really low but but we have to approach this from lots of different angles and this is just one of the things that we can do if you start to do self-care to give yourself self-care each day doing something that means you're connecting to the world, connecting to people that you love and make you feel good, connecting to nature, connecting to exercise, connecting to things like creativity and learning. All of those things create the release of hormones that tell your nervous system that you're safe. Um, because at the end of the day, as human beings, we like to think that we're a bit special, but we're not really. We're just nervous systems on legs. Yeah. Um, and our nervous systems rule our world. Um, our unconscious, which is basically our nervous system, is in control of our lives for about 80-90% of the day. I think it's 90% of the day. 10% of our time we're governed by our conscious mind. And if we can send physical messages through the techniques that I'm going to be sharing with you today, um, if we can send those physical messages to our nervous system that we're safe and that all is well, then um, that can make... Um, a, a huge difference. We can start to just slow down, to calm, to feel so much better. That combined, so self-care combined with the physical, the techniques that I show, physical techniques, visualization techniques, um, breath, breath techniques, they are all the things that you can do for yourself. Um, also, sometimes um, it's really helpful to go and see a therapist. So um, that's the thing, is that you can do so much by yourself and then there's times where you it's really helpful to actually talk things through with someone so that you can, um, um, you can, you can see through someone else's eyes that they can perhaps guide you towards reframing stuff that's happened to you. So... Um, Oh, thank you. I don't know who sent me that, but that was really beautiful, that lovely heart. <laughs> so l let's think about, um, so I can see, um, oh gosh, I can't see what that is. Sarah, Sarah Musically. Oh my God, I have to put my glasses on. Sarah Musically Voletic. <laughs> I hope that's right. I hope that's right. Um, so, um, yeah, so let me let me do a technique for you. Okay, so you can have a go, do this alongside me. Um, so what would you rather do? Let me know. Would you rather do a breath technique or would you rather do um, a physical technique? <laughs> um, because they're, they're all quite easy. And they're, they're, probably some of you will have seen these before because they're, they're already on my page. But for those of you who are new here, you might not have seen them. And maybe you've been to a live before and you've not seen some of the practical stuff. So let me know um, what you'd prefer. Um, let's have a look. Um, physical, physical, physical. Okay. All right. And there's a few breaths. So let's, okay, thank you for letting me know. All right. 
So um, physical technique, the most popular one and the one that actually helps the most is this one. Okay, so my apologies if you've seen this before, um, but this is a really, really helpful technique because it works on lots of different levels. It works on the physical, it works on the cognitive, it works um, lots of different ways. So what I want you to do first of all is I want you to think about how you're feeling right now, whether you're anxious, whether you're afraid, whether you're angry, what, whatever it is that you're feeling, give it a score out of 10. So, um, do you know, I'm going to ask my husband to put my light on because I can't see. Hang on a second, I, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Can you plug my laptop in so my light can come back on, please? I'm in the middle of my live and I can't, it's all gone dark. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. I'm good. I've got my husband plugging my laptop in because it all went dark because I hadn't plugged my laptop in. My laptop in. So what I'm asking you to do is to gauge where you are. So between um, naught and ten. There we go. My light is on. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was I was practically working in the dark. Yeah. Thank you, my lovely hubby. So um, zero is is absolutely fine <clears throat> and 10 is the worst it could be okay so make a note of that and we're going to start doing this technique so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start just slowly circling your thumb and finger like this you don't have to need you don't have to hold it up like this i'm only doing this so you can see it it's one of those things you could use anywhere because no one needs to see it you can have it down on your lap down by your side so just circling slowly and then what I want you to do is I want you to change the way your vision is, is. I want you to soften your vision so that you're just kind of staring off into the half distance. So you're kind of aware of your peripheral vision. Um, so if you were to hold your hands like this, you can only just see your hands. So can you see what I'm, I'm saying there? So you're circling unfocused vision and the reason we do this is when we're in danger our vision becomes very focused if someone was to burst through my door I'd be like oh, what's that um, so that's sending the message through our optic nerve that we're safe so circling unfocused and then in your head just something along the lines of I'm here I'm safe I'm now I'm here I'm safe I'm now just do that in your head for a, just for a little while, for a few moments. Just slow everything down. And you might become aware that maybe some of your muscles are quite tight, whether that's your jaw, throat and neck, maybe across your shoulders, maybe your chest, maybe your tummy, maybe your arms even. So just, just soften those muscles. soften everything and then you might become aware that your breathing is either you might be holding your breath you might have stopped breathing you might be breathing very shallowly up here and what we want is to have nice long slow out breath so you might get to the stage where you think oh I really need to yawn or I really need to just just let go, just sigh. Just a long, slow out breath. Don't worry about the in breath so much. Just slow everything down so you're breathing from your tummy. And just do that for a bit, see how that feels. How does that feel? That's right. Just slow everything down. Everything's soft. And just notice where you are, that you're just here. Wherever you are, you're just here, in this place. You're okay. You don't need to worry about tomorrow or yesterday. You're just here and now. That's, this is the only place that matters. So, how does that feel? What number are you at now? What number are you at now? 
Where did you start from and where did you go? So remember that zero was absolutely fine and 10 was the worst it could be. So let's have a little look at where you were. So, okay, so Sandy, you're four. Where did you, where did you start off from, Sandy? Let's have a look. Thank you so much, everyone joining us. We're just doing some practical stuff here. Emily, you went from six down to a three. Brilliant. Safia, you went from seven to four. Carrie, you're two. Um, let's see. So Charlene, you, you're five. You were a seven. Cupcake girl, you were seven. You've gone down to a two. That's amazing. Hello, Maria from Mexico. That's so cool. Welcome. Kim, Kim Luke, you were 9.5, now you're 7. Oh, that's a good... So, Jas, Jasmine, Jaslyn, you went from 10 to a 4. That's so cool. So, it's such a simple, simple technique, isn't it? We only did that for a very, very short amount of time. So, imagine if you used that as your self-care. That was the thing that you used... Um, each day you just did that um, and it's a case of um, by doing that technique you're releasing the the hormones that are telling your brain that you're safe um, because the fact is that most of the time you are you're not in danger the anxiety was created by our system to keep us safe. It's part of our survival response. But most of the time, for most of us, we are actually physically safe. I know that's not true for everyone. And anxiety is really important. It's important that we feel anxious and, uh, and afraid when we're truly in danger. Because we need to get ourselves out of there. And it's important that we pay attention to the messages that our nervous system is sending us. But... If we're just chronically anxious because we're being triggered by everyday events, then this sort of thing can be really, really helpful. So, oh my goodness. So let's have a look. Um, Nicole, Nicole Denise Lay. Gosh, you've had kids home for, from school for 10 days and your anxiety is so bad. So, gosh, I'm sorry about that. I hope, I hope that Perhaps that was helpful. If you've missed that, then I will be up. I will be uploading this to my YouTube, which is which is reachable through um, my profile. So you'll be able to see this and do that alongside us. So um, it's it's um, hopefully that's really helpful. Um, yeah. Oh gosh, my eyes are terrible today. I can't really see. I'm going to put my glasses on. So Missy Missy K C, you're still struggling. So the, you know. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's like, that's okay because we're going to do some more techniques. And this is about, the thing about the work that I do, it's not just a like, okay, we laser in and that's it, cured forever. This is a lifestyle. I do these things every single day. I live my life in this way, self-care, being kind, slowing down, giving myself time. And it helps you to feel calmer. So I hope that, that helps a little bit. Um, let's have a look. I'm really glad that you're joining me here. <laughs> um, so let's have a look. So, um, so Rosie says, I don't know if my anxiety is bad enough for me to go on medication. Um, so, I, I, well, I'm not a doctor, so I can't give you advice on medication. I don't think that that would be right um, for me to do that. Um, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that with that purple thing. Such a silly thing. Um, but what I think is really important, oh, it's so annoying. Sorry about this, everyone. I hate this thing. Oh, I'll just get rid of it. Anyway, I think what is important is that you go and see a doctor and that's a starting point, isn't it? And um, talk to people and ask for help. Um, and perhaps try these things as well, you know, because I think there's a lot of stuff that you can do to help yourself. Um, um, before you even do that but there's absolutely nothing wrong with going on medication it can help a lot of people and it does help a lot of people uh, I know sometimes people feel a bit bad about that and it's such an individual thing but as I say I'm not a doctor so I'm not the right person to be advising about that um, so 
so indigo flora says how to help the shivering so shivering trembling again go and see your doctor first of all go and have a a little um, chat with your doctor just to check it out physically but often that can be the release of adrenaline that makes you very very trembly so um, all of these things can be really helpful for that so let's do a really easy breath technique um, that can be helpful because um, when I was doing the, this technique just now, we were talking about um, slowing our breath and doing a nice long, slow out breath. And breathing can be quite tricky when you're um, when you're first, you know, starting to think about your breath because you can think, oh no, I'm overthinking my breath. Um, Nadine, don't worry if you've not gone down with your score for doing that. You know sometimes these things um, are, are, are great and can be really really helpful and sometimes we just you know we only did it just for a very short amount of time there so it's about just doing this really regularly on a regular basis taking time for yourself um, and it's as, as Jasmine says it's different for for everyone you know everyone's scores are subjective um, there's no right or wrong there's no good or or bad it's about what works for you so don't beat yourself up at all if um, maybe that just wasn't right for you today and maybe if you did it tomorrow then it, it would be um, help helpful so um, let me do so let me do this breath technique so sometimes it's difficult to kind of get your breath under control when you're anxious so this breath is breath technique is Let's do it together. What we're going to do is we're just going to breathe. However your breathing is going at the moment, we're just going to breathe. And then um, what we're going to do is imagine that we're a boat coming into a harbour. Um, and we're just going to gradually stop and we're going to stop our breathing. Um, so, and just not for very long, just until we feel that pressure of needing to breathe again. Because our brain, we, we will breathe. We don't need to worry about not breathing because we always breathe from the moment that we're born so if you just with me now if you imagine you're just breathing we're just coming in just slowly and just when it feels right for just just stop your breath and just be curious about how that feels until we just think right I'm just I need to breathe now so breathe in a long slow breath out breathe in long slow breath out and we want to be breathing from our tummy so if I show you if I stand up so when we're breathing if we're anxious we tend to be breathing from up here and not not hardly breathing at all um, a, a sort of a healthy breath is from our tummy so if you put your hands on your tummy like this and you've got your fingers um, touching your fingertips touching um, if your breath is shallow and in your throat then your fingers won't move at all but if you're breathing from your tummy you're using diaphragm breaths when you breathe in your tummy will become like a bit of a beer belly and so if you look at my fingers can you see how they part and then when I breathe out and I push my stomach muscles in and my fingertips come together again. So I breathe in. They part. <laughs> and then I breathe out and push out. And it, and it, it, you know, it takes practice. I've been doing this for years. So for me, breath is something that's um, something that I think about and I do it every day and I can do it. But, you know, every time we try something new, is the chances are we're not going to be that brilliant at it. And it is just about spending five minutes every day thinking about, you know, how, how can I breathe? How can I just have a nice, long, slow out breath? So um, so that is a reset breath. Um, oh, thank you, Rosie. I'm, I'm glad you, you like that and live. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Wendy, it's so lovely to see you. Gosh, I'm really glad you made it tonight as well. Indigo Flora, I'm glad. I'm glad. And and hopefully, you know, Betty, if you're Betty, if you're you're pregnant and you're a bit worried about these things, then 
getting yourself to this place where you've got these nice hormones coming. You're, you're probably full of hormones already, but if you've got these nice hormones going through you, then um, it can help your brain come back online. When you feel safe, your brain can come back online and you can think through what, what you need to do and, and talk to people, you know, talk to people. So um, let's have a look at some of these. So um, Blaze, oh, is that your name? Blaze Nut, do you have um, help for having anxiety about things I can't control? So, oh, greetings from Uruguay. Gosh, that's a long way away. It's so lovely to see you. And Trish, how very nice to see you too. Um, so, so I think the things about um, things that you can't control. A, a lot of people have this. You know, we have this sense as human beings that we want to be in control of everything. If we can control everything, then everything will be all right and we'll be safe. But we're really not in control of very much at all. If you think about it, what are we in control of? So I'm in control of, I can pick up my pen, um, I can put my glasses on, I can turn my light on and off, I can decide if I want to talk or not talk. I, I'm in control of my own actions. And it's the same for everyone here. Um, you're in control of your own actions. We like to try and be in control of other people's actions too. And we can influence other people. We can say to people, you know, I don't want you to say that or I don't want you to do that. But actually, if they want to do it, then they can. So it's that sense of beginning to accept that this is my circle of control, me, my actions. Everything else is beyond that. And I know that that can feel a bit scary to think, I'm out of control of everything. But actually, um, it can be really liberating to just be able to let go of that need to control. Um, because we have that sense of when we can let go, we can just let go of needing con to control everyone and everything. We just let everyone else take responsibility for themselves our work colleagues, our friends and family, all of a sudden you're just in this place where you go, oh, I don't need to worry about that anymore. Now, I know that's easy for me to say, um, but it, it is, it does take time and practice. Lynn 250, you're absolutely right, saying to, to Nadine that all of these things just take time and practice. It's about being kind to ourselves, accepting that um, none of us are perfect, that we're going to have times when we're a bit anxious. But if we can bring ourselves to a place of calm by using self-care, by using some of the techniques I share, then um, over time we become much calmer, um, much calmer people. Um, so C, you're saying, can I do a video on health anxiety so that you can show your son who suffers? So um, if you have a look on my page, I think there are, I have done some videos on health anxiety. So have a little look, because they're all in categories. If you look at my profile page, um, underneath, um, there's lots of different categories. And I think, that I, I'm sure there's one. I'm sure I've, I've done stuff on health anxiety. So do go and have a look. Um, but I will make a note and I'll see if I can do one over the coming days as well, which hopefully will be helpful for you. Um, Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here. It's a bit later than normal, um, which actually feels quite nice, I think, d doing it a little bit later. Hopefully it allows you, if you're from the States or Canada, from the West, then you can, you're can you joining us. <clears throat> and also, if you're in Europe or in the UK, I mean, I know most people are not working today, but there, I'm sure there are lots of people who are working today. Maybe you've sort of managed to get home and, and catch us, so... Um, it's just lovely to have you here. Um, so Smurfette says, I have terrible anxiety. I, I wish I didn't worry. I just had my fourth baby. Um, and Izzy says, I'm just feeling on edge all the time, constantly thinking. Um, and Amber says, how can we be more present? Do you know, it's the, the, all of those. I, I feel for you. And there's such such good comments, such good questions, that, that, that sense of... Um, 
worry and overthinking and trying to be more present because it is can quite often be about control that sense of when we're anxious we are not so much in the moment we're either perhaps in the past thinking about the things that have gone wrong in the past worrying about stuff we've said stuff that's happened or we're in the future we're way off in the future imagining all the things that might go wrong and sometimes that can be really helpful because our brain is running simulations of stuff that might happen and then when if if it does happen when it happens we have more of an idea of how we're going to respond to it but a lot of the time those things are never going to happen and by living in our future our imagined future we're actually um ruining our present aren't we? We're wasting our present. The thing is that our brains and our nervous systems don't know the difference between an imagined future, all the what ifs and reality of here and now. So it feels as though all of that stuff we're imagining is really happening. Um, And so we get the release of adrenaline and cortisol and we feel the way we feel. So to be more present, to have self-care in our life, to use the techniques that I share. Today, I've only done a couple. I've been a bit useless today, I'm sorry. Um, I've used this technique, which is one of my pinned posts, um, and also the reset breath. Um, What would you like me to do now? Would you like um, a visualization? Would you like another breath technique? Um, What sort of thing would would, would help you? Um, Let me have a little look at your techniques thank you so much for everyone who's here thank you for following me thank you for sending likes um oh lady j really nice to see you (laughs) lady j is is also a therapist so lovely to see you here um let's have a look visualization um emily thomas hello emily nice to see you any tips for agoraphobia and flying flying on wednesday and i'm terrified Oh, Jasmine, thank you for being kind, and you, son, too. Um, So let me think about this. So um, let me make a note of it, because I'm so useless. I'm not useless. I'm not useless. I'm not going to say... I'm telling everyone to speak kindly to themselves, and I'm telling myself I'm useless. What's that about? Um, So, Emily, let me make a note of that. So I think with flying stuff... um, it's a case of where has that come from? And it's quite important to chunk it down and to think, okay, where am I actually scared of? Is it um, the whole thing? Is it the, the getting to the airport? Is it checking in? Is it security? Is it um, takeoff? Is it the flight? Is it landing? What part am I actually scared of? And if you can reassure yourself that, oh, okay, it's only that bit. So say, for example, for you, it's the taking off then you think, oh, well, actually, that's like less than a minute of being afraid. So if I can use techniques to help me to calm down for a minute, so distraction, physical techniques that I share, um, breath techniques, um, curiosity about everyone around you um, for a minute, then you'll be all right for the rest of the time. Our brain tends to think it's the whole thing. So chunk it down as much as you can. Tick off, um, you know, oh, I've done this, I've done that, I've done that, you know, or or perhaps I've just got to get through the landing and all will be well. I think it's quite helpful to be curious about the people around you. Um, um, So, and also, you know, go and see a therapist, go and see a cognitive hypnotherapist would be able to help you really well with that, or or a traditional hypnotherapist as well can be helpful because they help to reframe what's caused it because it will have been caused by something specific a significant emotional event um so that's what i would say sort of in the long term but in the short term chunk it down have some of these things maybe save some of my videos so that you've got me talking you through stuff um, maybe ask for some of my um, downloads which are free on my website i can send them to you and you can have me in your ears talking you through hopefully to help you feel a bit calmer um, I realise, Sandy, that I've not talked much about self-esteem, but I think self-esteem is all part of this. It's giving yourself self-care, building yourself up, speaking kindly to yourself can be really, really helpful. So I hope that helps a little bit. 
um, let's do a visualization, shall we? Let's do some spinning. So spinning is a really lovely technique and it's a bit weird, but there's nothing wrong with a bit weird, is there? I don't know if you saw my thing the other day. I saw this really lovely little song about it's okay to be weird. And I thought, oh, I've got just the right video of me in a park doing some stupid jumping up and down stuff. And I thought, you know, I think we all feel we're a bit weird, don't we? I, I feel... Well, I always felt for a long time that I was a bit weird and I worried about it. And then, the, <laughs> did you see it, Sam? Um, over time, I've just thought, I don't really care if I'm weird. I'm just me and I know that I'm a nice, kind, honest person. <laughs> to me, that's the thing that really matters in, in life. So, yes. Oh, good, Trish. I'm glad you liked it. So spinning. So whatever it is. So spinning is a visualisation um, that we can use for all sorts of different emotions. So we can use it to make something good feel even better. Um, and we can use it to help um, something difficult feel easier. So whatever you're feeling. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Whatever you're feeling. Just measure where you are with it. Out, again, out of 10, it's, it's helpful to see the change that happens. So zero is absolutely fine and 10 is the worst it could be. So where are you right now? And just maybe make a note of it or just remember it, okay? Then uh, what I want you to do is just take a moment and to think, okay, that feeling I'm feeling, whatever it is, where do I feel it? Where, where, am, I, where am I aware of it at the moment? Is it in my head? Is it in my throat? Is it in my chest? Is it in my tummy? Is it somewhere else? Is it all over? Um, and just take a moment to be with it. Maybe close your eyes and maybe just, just feel it. Now, when you're connected to that feeling, and I can feel something in my tummy right now. I don't quite know what it is, but I can feel something that doesn't feel completely okay. Um, it's, I can feel it's a, it's a feeling of some type and what I want you to do is to just connect with it. Now if that feeling had a shape connected to it, an image, what would it be? Now it doesn't have to be any sort of shape that's got a name to it, even if it's a scribble, it could be, you know what that shape is, even if you can't describe it with words. So just be aware of that, that shape. If that shape had a colour, what colour would it be? If that shape had a weight, would it be heavy? Is it light? Is it hot? Is it cold? So just get an understanding of what that feeling is as a shape. And even if you're not very good at visualising, don't worry about that. You are aware of how you um, experience that feeling. So just go with, with that, what feels right for you. So I can see here, so we've got some reds, we've got circles, we've got, we've got heavy, we've got dark red, we've got a heavy square, we've got a splat. Yeah, and it's, it's different for everyone. And it might be different for you every time you do this, and that is okay. So once you're aware of it, what I want you to do is, in your imagination, in whatever way is easiest for you, just take a moment to imagine it coming out of you. So it's just in the air in front of you. Just take a moment and just let it be there in front of you. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to make it just a little bit worse just a point worse, half a point, a point worse. And the way we're going to do that is that we're not thinking about what's caused it or anything like that. Just that shape, I want you to imagine beginning to spin it. So just imagine beginning to spin it in a way that makes the feeling a bit worse. Just half a point or a point worse. That's right. And if, you, if you're at the place where you've managed to make it a bit worse, it shows you you have control over that feeling. You can make it worse. And if you can make it worse, it makes sense that you can make it feel better. So quite often, I don't know how you spun it, or whether it, 
whether it was a certain direction, whether it was a certain speed for a lot of people, um, not everyone, but for a lot of people making it fast um, makes the feeling more intense, makes it worse. So what I want you to do now is change the way you're spinning it. Play with it. Maybe slow it, maybe change the direction, whatever feels right for you so that you can bring it back down to where you started. And then just keep playing with it. So you bring it down and down. And just take your time. Just slowly, if that's what feels right for you, bringing that feeling down and down. That's it. That's it. And just play with it. Play with the colour. Play with the temperature. Play with how close is it? Is it close to you? How does it feel if you push it far away? What if you push it down? What if you just let it fly away? That's it. There you go. So, how does that feel for you? How did that feel? Where did you start off and what number did you get to? Let me know some let me know some numbers here so you can see the, the change. If it wasn't quite right for you, then don't worry about that because sometimes it does take a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of practice. And let's face it, we only did that very briefly. So if you imagine that you had time to do that um, for a longer amount of time. Oh, that's Safia, you said that felt freeing. That's so lovely. Um, Oh, thank you, Kay. Thank you, that's very kind of you. Ah, good. So, oh gosh, so um, Maria, is that Marie? So Marie B went from seven to two. Trish, you think that's that felt relaxing for you? Nadine, I hope you're okay. I can see you having a conversation here with Lynn. So you just, it's okay. Whatever you're feeling, we're here for you. We're so glad that you're here and we as a team, we just love having you on these lives. So you give that Charlie Bear a big hug from, from all of us and I hope he it sends us hugs back, but most of all, I hope that he's sending you hugs. You take care. So F.A. Jordan, it reset your breathing. Marianne, you said that that felt good. Okay, thank you for your comment there. Missy, case, oh. Okay. Missy Casey you went from a nine to a four. That's amazing. Hello, Denise. It's lovely to see you. Thank you, Caitlin. Lovely to see you too. Elizabeth, you went from a five to a two. James, yeah, I think it does take practice. You know, I always say to my clients, just do a little bit of this every day and then you're reducing your stress hormones, you're building your nice... Um, soothing hormones that tell your nervous system that you're safe. Um. <laughs> Jasmine, you've only had four hours sleep. Jasmine, bless your heart for being here moderating when you've only had four hours sleep. You're so kind. <laughs> you need to have a nice, nice sleep. Wow, lovely. So that's good. It's good to see that it's made a difference for a lot of people. Um, oh, okay, I'm so glad that you're getting a set of therapists soon. That's so lovely. Well done. Well done. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Amber, that's so great. I'm really pleased that you feel happier. Um, okay, thank you for being here. Gosh. Oh, Nadine, bless you. Thank you. Um, oh. Libby, Libby, you're suffering from metaphobia and anxiety and you haven't reached out for help before. You don't know how. Gosh, I I really feel for you. And Coco, you, you have such bad anxiety that you, you keep you sick and in bed for days. Do you know what? It, it's so difficult, isn't it? Anxiety is such a horrible thing. And um, 
Libby, you're so, if you're suffering from emetophobia, please don't suffer alone. Do go along and see someone. A good starting point is to um, to reach out to your to your doctor because that they will have advice that they can give you. Also to look at um, sites like Anxiety UK, Mind also has lots of great resources. Um, and there are also, there's free therapy. So if you just Google free therapy and you can access that, I don't know how, how great it is, but it's about finding someone that um, works for you and that you click with. Um, through my profile page, there's a therapist finder where you can find people who do the same therapy as me. Um, and we would all work with people who have a metaphobia. Um, and metaphobia, for those of you who don't know, is a fear of um, being sick or seeing other people being sick. Um, oh, Liv, it's so, thank you. That's very lovely. <laughs> lovely. I'm just glad that you're here. I'm glad that you stayed for 45 minutes of it. That's so cool. Um, um, yeah, so um, I think the thing is, please don't... Um, suffer alone what whatever is going on for you it always seems much bigger and much more difficult when you're suffering by yourself when you can reach out to someone else and and get help then you know two two minds um, are more helpful than one quite often when we're anxious uh, we get into that stage of overthinking and catastrophizing and it feels like everything is going to be impossible and we're never going to be able to get help and it's always going to be awful and that's simply not true and what happens is that the blood that would normally go to our thinking brain to our, our, our speech and language to our working memory um, to the, our cognitive function it doesn't go there and so we're not thinking straight a lot of the time um, when we're um, when we're anxious and that's something to remember that's another reason to have the self-care to have um the, the the practical physical techniques the visualization techniques the breath techniques um because those things help you get back online and think more clearly so just bear that in mind um but yeah do reach out libby because you absolutely can get help. My my son um, suffered from emetophobia um, some years ago, and you know he's absolutely fine now. Um, he, he got the help that he needed, um, and and also it was very much about um, understanding what was going on. Because I think if you have information about what anxiety really is, it can be really helpful. You know, anxiety is normal, natural, but sometimes our nervous systems are working overtime. It's like they're on a, a treadmill and they're going round and round and round, faster and faster and faster, making us feel worse and worse and worse. And it's, we're in a closed loop of behaviour. And if we can start to change that by self-care, by doing the stuff that I, I mentioned, and maybe going to see a therapist, then we can come out the other side. We can break out of that loop. So I hope that helps a little bit. Um, let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so son's um, son saying that, um, yeah, all of my lives are on YouTube. I always upload them to YouTube. Um, so there's lots of stuff on there that you can have a look. Um, So TikToker, how do I reach out for help if I want to unalive when I know my own mum and family would never believe it? Well, I'm so glad that you've reached out here. Um, please, please don't do that because you will have touched people that um, you don't even realise you've made a difference in their lives. Um, there are lots of ways that you can reach out Um there are lots and lots of charities that you can reach out to, depending on what's going on for you. Um, things like um, the Samaritans, which is 116123 um, in the UK, um, where you can talk to people. They will just listen and do their best to help you. Um, there are places like the Ollie Foundation, um, Papyrus. Um, I, I think that the most important thing is to talk to people and keep yourself as safe as possible to understand that what you're going through, it, it can be so incredibly painful and it's hard to imagine that you can come out the other side of this and live a life that is happy and fulfilled and okay again. 
but you absolutely can. And I know that there will be people on this live who perhaps have felt similarly to you at times and have managed to come through it. So to understand that it's temp a temporary feeling, even if it's gone on for a long time, um, and to be with other people. So even if your family might not believe you, if you can be with them, if or if you can be with other people who perhaps could believe you more, then that can be really helpful. Um, please, please keep coming to our community here, um, to these lives um, and to, to some of the, the, the videos. Um, this community, the comments you can see, people are very kind here and it's kept a kind community by my moderators, particularly on the lives. Um, but you, everyone has, has worth, has value, and you have value too. So please look after yourself, be kind to yourself, um, and, and keep going. Reach out for help with someone in your life um, that you feel perhaps you could trust to open up to. Um, I think Coco's absolutely right, that sense of asking your question. The fact that you've asked your question shows that there's hope in your life. Quite often when we're feeling really desperate, um, our brain just goes, well, there's no solution. The only solution is this. And actually, it's not the only solution. It's just that you haven't found more positive, healthy solutions at the moment. And having another mind to help you with that can, can be amazing. So please, please, sometimes I think people feel a bit bad or that it might be difficult reaching out to someone like the Samaritans, but um, they're used to people feeling, feeling afraid and they will absolutely be kind and do their best to help you. So please don't suffer alone. Um, um, let me see. TikTok, you take care of yourself. Um, so we're kind of at the end of this live and I'm sure that you're all very tired after today. It's been one of those days, hasn't it? I think particularly in the UK, um, I feel like there's a real sort of community feeling of exhaustion after the, you know, the Queen's funeral today. Um, the last 10 days have been full on for lots of people. I think it's brought up a lot of grief that people have felt in their own lives, whether they have felt grief for the Queen uh, and the Royal Family or not. Um, I think it's it's been so present um, that it perhaps has affected other people um, without without you realising that it's, that's what's happening, or perhaps you do realise and it's been difficult. So perhaps over the next, um, you know, this evening, today, the next few days, please look after yourselves, be kind to yourselves, be with the people you love. Um, and I want to really, really thank my moderators for being here because my moderators, you know, you all have stuff that goes on in your lives um, too that is not always easy. So thank you to Lynn250, thank you Jasmine, um, thank you Vicky Hodson, thank you Zan Shin, thank you Vicky Handlebars all of you for being here and for keeping this a safe space, for chatting to people and answering questions that perhaps I can't or don't see, because um, there's so many that fly through. I couldn't do it without you and I so appreciate your kindness. Um, so um, thank you very much. If you have just joined us or perhaps you've not been able to be here for the whole of the live, then if you look in my profile, then um, I will be uploading this to YouTube. Um, I upload all of my lives to YouTube and there's other stuff on YouTube as well. Um, do have a look at the categories of the stuff that I share, because um, hopefully there's stuff that might be helpful to you. Um, and in my profile, there's also all sorts of free resources. Um, so hopefully that they're helpful to you too. All of my stuff is is free. I do work with people. Obviously, as I work as a therapist, then you know I I that's how I pay my bills. <laughs> but everything else that I do on social media is is always free. Thank you so much for being here. It's been absolutely lovely, and it's such a privilege. I I love being on here and seeing you all here. So take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Um, the next one. Um, it's not going to be, I mean, I'm looking here at my diary. Um, my next one will be next Friday. 
So, oh, let me see. No, not this coming Friday. So I'm not going to do one for a little while. Um, I might I'm keep an eye out because I might do it on a different day. Um, it just depends. I'm a bit busy over the coming little while. So do keep an eye out on my profile <laughs> for my next lives. Um, and if you have any suggestions about anything you'd like me to do a live on, then um, just say. Um, if you'd like me to chat with someone, maybe invite someone on, um, then also I could maybe do that and do like a, a joint live, have a discussion. I'm not, sh not too sure. But um, yeah, keep an eye out. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for my moderators. And you, all of you, take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. And have a lovely week. So I'm going to finish now. But um, thank you for all your likes and follows and shares. Um, and I've, I'll just stay along around a little bit <laughs> to say goodbye um, and, and chat to people. But um, I'm not going to answer any more uh, questions um, now. But take care and hopefully I'll see you soon. Cheerio, Liv. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Amber. Cheerio. Bye-bye, Elizabeth. <laughs> oh. Oh, gosh, I can't see. My eyes are terrible. Yeah, so Bree Bree, my YouTube is... If you go into my profile, so if you look at my, my photograph and click on that, it'll go through to my profile. Um, and there's a link tree, and there's loads and loads of links through there if you have a look at that. Um, so, yeah, that's probably the best way to, to go and have a little look. <laughs> Sadab, it's really nice. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Um, Heather, have a lovely week. Trish, thank you so much for being here. Lovely to see you. Nadine, thank you for being here. You take care of yourself. Give Charlie Bear a cuddle from me. Denise, it's lovely to see you. Thank you. San, have a lovely week. <laughs> Emmy, thank you for following me. <laughs> Emily, it's lovely to see you. Really nice, really nice to have you here. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Oh, Laura Claire Dean, it's so nice. I'm really glad that the week started off in a good way by, by this. Thank you. Thank you. You take care. Yes, oh, and no, don't, please don't subscribe. Um, honestly, everything is for free. I don't want you to have to pay for this. It's there and I can't get rid of it. Please don't subscribe at all. If ever you, you know, there's a charity there, if anyone wants to... to um, donate to the charity it's um, calm which is a, a suicide prevention charity but you don't feel you have to do that either everything is free I, I don't need you to pay any money to me at all I'm happy 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 to be doing this for free so big hugs to you Elizabeth thank you Kerry <laughs> take care thank you Right, I really am going to go now. But um, thank you all for being here and I will see you again soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.